Hi everybody, I am Nofal. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss regarding evidence based practice. Evidence based practice. That is proof based practice. What are the things we are practicing in the clinical area as a nurse or as a doctor? There should be a proof. There should be a evidence. Without evidence, we should not practice anything. We have to give the care with evidence. This is a new concept. For example, suppose if you are working as a nurse and a patient is asking to you, how can I reduce my blood cholesterol level other than taking medicine? Other than taking medicine, how can I reduce my blood cholesterol level? So you are giving the answer. You can reduce your blood cholesterol level by avoiding oily food by avoiding junk food, by avoiding uh, fried items, by avoiding red meat as well as regular exercise, you can reduce your blood cholesterol level. So from where you got this knowledge? It is not from your idea. You got this knowledge from evidence is there from the research so many researcher has already did the research regarding blood cholesterol level and diet blood cholesterol level and food so you have the evidence the evidence is there so many research finding is there so many research result is there such and such food if you are controlling and with exercise you can reduce your blood cholesterol level so with the evidence with the proof you have given that knowledge to the patient so evidence based practice with the proof you are practicing in the hospital another example is in the icu we are frequently using sanitizer before touching the patient from where we got this knowledge we have the evidence we have the proof from the research so many research result is there by using the sanitizer in the hospital before touching the patient helps to reduce the infection. So all the things we are practicing, it should be with proof. With the help of proof or evidence, we are giving care to the patient. That is evidence based practice. Earlier, it was not like that. But in now we are giving the care with the help of proof only evidence based practice we can see the definition of evidence based practice evidence based practice is the conscious use of current based evidence in making clinical decision about patient care so ebp that is evidence based practice is the conscious use of current based evidence consciously you are using the current based evidence that is the present base evidence at present what evidence is there what research finding what is the best research finding that thing you are consciously using in making clinical decision you are making clinical decision for what for the patient care to provide patient care you are consciously or purposefully you are using the current base evidence that is the current base research finding current based research you are using for the patient care that is the defi definition of evidence based practice next we can see the evidence based nursing so it is the process of identifying the solid research findings and implementing them in nursing practice in order to increase the quality of patient care so what is evidence based nursing in the evidence-based nursing, it is a process of identifying the solid research findings. The first thing, as a nurse in the evidence-based practice, what you are doing? You are identifying the research findings, the solid research findings, the best research finding you are identifying. After identifying what you are doing, you are impl implementing them in nursing practice. You are implementing or you are applying them in nursing practice that is in the clinical area or in the bedside for what in order to increase the quality of patient care to improve the 
quality of patient care what you are doing you are identifying the solid research finding and you are implementing that finding that is evidence based nursing you are identifying the new new research finding and you are implementing that for what purpose to improve the patient care to improve the quality of patient care that is evidence based nursing next we can see the steps or process of evidence based practice steps or process of evidence based practice steps or process okay so for the steps some process is there or steps or process both is same don't get confused first one is identify the research problem clearly identify the research problem clearly so the first and the foremost step is you have to identify the research problem clearly so you have to do a detailed assessment in the practice area that is in the clinical that is in the hospital area in the bedside you have to do a detailed assessment is there any problem in the practice area is there any problem in the bedside that is in the nursing care area is there any problem or related to the knowledge while you are reading any research or while you are listening any research conference you will get knowledge from there such and such problems are there so here you are doing a detailed assessment in the clinical area in the bedside area you are doing a detailed assessment for example if you are working in the icu after your assessment you have identified that number of infection is increasing in the hospital in the icu the number of infection is increasing you are working in the icu and the number of infectious cases increasing in the icu so you identified a research problem okay so you identified a research problem that is the first step next step is review of literature review of literature review of literature means you are searching for the knowledge you are searching for the knowledge related to your research problem you are searching for the knowledge related to your research problem here our example is number of infection is increasing in the icu so review of literature you are searching for the knowledge related to infectious cases in the icu and its prevention the topic related to your research problem you are searching the knowledge someone else has already did the research okay someone else has already did the research related to infection in the icu and its prevention so you are searching that research study through offline as well as through online you are searching from the library as well as through the internet you are searching related to your research problem here our example the research problem is number of infection is increasing in the icu so related to the infectious cases in the icu and its prevention we are searching from the library so many researcher has already did the study regarding this topic so we are searching and 
from the library as well as from the internet we are searching and you will get so many studies that is the second step review of literature next one is the third step is critical analysis of the evidence critical analysis of the evidence critical analysis of the evidence after the review of literature you got so many studies related to our example that is research problem here it is related to the infection in the icu now the third step is critical analysis of the evidence in the critical analysis means detailed examination and evaluation of that study so many research will be there related to this topic whatever topic according to your problem here with our example so many research will be there so what we have to do in the third step we have to examine and evaluate in depth in detail we have to examine and we have to evaluate all that research study okay okay the analysis of the evidence we have to evaluate we have to evaluate while evaluating you have to check what are the findings what are the research findings or what are the research result as well as whether the study is valid whether this study is a valid study as well as whether it is helpful to the patient whether this study is helpful to the patient care what are the findings as well as whether these studies are valid and whether it is helpful to the patient care so critically you are analyzing each and every study you are evaluating you are examining in depth in detail you are examining all that studies related to your research problem that is the third step next one is implementation in the implementation in the clinical practice clinical practice okay this is the fourth step that is implementation in the clinical practice so here from the review of literature you got a lot of research study related to your problem then in the third step you have evaluated and examined the study and in the fourth step you have to implement in the clinical practice the best one among the all studies which is the best study and which study is giving the best result which is the best study so you have to implement the best evidence with our example i can tell you the problem was infection in the icu you have search for the knowledge related to infection in the icu and its prevention here you have examined all the studies related to infection in the icu and here you are implementing in this critical analysis you got the result so many research has scientifically proven that using of sanitizer before touching the patient in the icu will help to reduce the infection in the icu so here that thing you are implementing the best evidence is using of sanitizer so many evidence will be there from that research so many research will be there so many finding will be there from that the best one here you are implementing that is you are applying in the clinical practice applying in the hospital you are applying in the hospital that is the fourth step or the process of evidence based practice next one is evaluation the last step is evaluation so here you have to evaluate whether the implementation was effective the efficiency of the implementation whether the number of infectious cases in the icu has reduced or not after a particular period you can check you have to 
evaluate got it so so you can do the evaluation by nursing audit or peer assessment nursing audit is evaluation of the effectiveness and appropriateness of the care and the peer assessment means your other nurses who is working with you they are evaluating whether the result you got or not okay so evaluation should be done so here our research problem was infectious cases in the icu you search for the knowledge related to the research how many researcher has already did the research regarding that problem then you are analyzing in depth in detail you are evaluating or examining that studies the best one you are implementing the best one you are applying and at last you are checking here you have implemented that using of sanitizer using of sanitizer and after using sanitizer in the icu you are evaluating whether the infection cases in the icu has reduced how you can evaluate through nursing audit as well as through peer assessment this is the steps or process of evidence based practice don't get confused if the question is steps or the process it is same only so the thing you have to keep it in mind is first one is research problem second one is review of literature third one is critical analysis next one is implementation and the last one is evaluation so at least you have to keep it in mind regarding research problem review of literature critical analysis and implementation then evaluation this is the steps or process of evidence based practice next we can see regarding the purpose of evidence based practice purpose of evidence based practice the first purpose is it helps to make best decision with the help of evidence okay the first purpose is it helps to make best decision with the help of evidence for a nurse or for a doctor the main purpose of the evidence based practice is it helps to make best decision for a nurse she can take the best decision with the help of evidence with the help of evidence a nurse can take the best decision that is the first purpose next one is it helps to eliminate unwanted practice it helps to eliminate unwanted practice it helps to eliminate or avoid unnecessary practice evidence is there so it will help to eliminate or avoid unnecessary practice for example we know providing or changing the position every 2 hourly will help to reduce the pressure sore every 2 hourly we have to change the position of the patient to prevent bed sore but in a hospital they are practicing every half an hourly or every hourly they are changing the position actually it is a unwanted practice here the evidence is there changing the position every 2 hourly will reduce or will help to prevent from bed sore so every half an hourly or every hourly you are changing the position means it is the wastage of time as well as it is the wastage of energy so the purpose of the evidence practice is it helps to eliminate unwanted practice next one is 
it helps to improve high quality patient care it helps to improve high quality patient care it helps to improve the high quality patient care okay it helps to provide or it helps to improve the high quality patient care okay you can give high quality patient care because evidence is there so you can improve the quality not the quantity next one is <coughs> it helps for better patient outcome it helps for better patient outcome with the help of the evidence it is helping for the better patient outcome that is better patient result result is important with the evidence we have reduced the infection in the icu by using the sanitizer so it is helping for the better patient outcome it helps to reduce the infection so evidence based practice is helping us to reduce or it helps to provide the better patient outcome these are the purpose of the evidence based practice next we can see regarding the barriers of evidence based practice barriers of ebp barriers means obstacles obstacles or block for implementing the evidence based practice the barriers of ebp first one is lack of time lack of time for a nurse is a barrier after completing the duty and after completing the responsibility so there is no time for evidence based practice there is no time for searching for the problem as well as there is no time for identifying or review of literature there is no time for critical analysis so time is a barrier okay next one is lack of knowledge regarding research methods so for a nurse she is not having the knowledge regarding research method that is also a barrier she don't know regarding the different methodologies of the research that is also a barrier next one is lack of ability to critically analyze the research lack of ability to critically analyze the research that is also a problem even though she know regarding the research but there is no skill or there is no ability which study is good and which one is bad which result is better so a ability or a skill is required while analyzing critically analyzing while in depth evaluation or while doing a detailed examination regarding the research findings ability should be there so there is no ability or lack of ability for a nurse she don't know how to analyze or she don't know how to evaluate the research finding that is also a barrier of evidence based practice next one is lack of support lack of support for a nurse lack of support from the organization that is from the hospital as well as from the colleagues 
their staff who is working along with them they are not supporting and there is no support from the hospital side from the management side also they are not supporting for the evidence based practice that is also a barrier there is lack of support from the organization as well as from the colleagues next one is lack of continuing education program lack of continuing education program suppose a nurse is a diploma holder or just completed the degree but she is not updating the knowledge by continuing her education so she is not updating the knowledge by continuing education she is not continuing her education that is also a barrier because new new technology is coming new new research methods as well as the things are coming but she is not updating the knowledge that is also a barrier as well as the last barrier is workload pressure workload pressure due to the heavy workload pressure a lot of responsibility is there as well as the ratio of the nurse and the patient is very low the number of nurses is very low and the number of patient is very high so definitely workload pressure will be there for the nurse so it will be very difficult for the evidence based practice because due to the workload she will not get the time also that is a barrier in the evidence based practice so evidence based practice is the proof based practice here you are not doing any research the main thing you have to keep it in mind you are not doing any research here you are doing what how to include research in the clinical area that thing you are doing how to include the research in clinical area that is evidence based practice proof based practice that's all regarding evidence based practice we'll meet soon with another video till that time thank you and goodbye